house tonight. Huh? And it is the presence of the Lord. Huh? Oh, God, musician, I want you to work with me. Because huh? you're going to work a little hot tonight. Hey, bye -bye. But there is power huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Someone say, Jesus. Just 
lives in which we walk in tonight. Uh, we have not earned it. Uh, hallelujah. No, we have not uh, uh, did my God attain it or retain it by any effort of our own self uh, or, or, or our own salvation. Uh, it's through Jesus Christ. Uh, you got to know tonight uh, that in this hour uh, that we are the church uh, and the Lord is saying uh, we are justified. Uh, hallelujah. But called uh, to walk in sanctification. Uh, tell your neighbor, uh, we're going to know tonight what's the difference between justification uh, and sanctification. Uh, understand we said earlier, uh, justification is not of our works. Uh, it's from Jesus Christ. Uh, we are saved because of the blood. Uh, we are in his righteousness because of the blood. Uh, he did it all for you and I. Uh, and this is why we stand here tonight. Uh, so I'm going to tell you, David, he did it all for me. Okay, when I look on further, uh, I look at sanctification. Uh, sanctification is a work of uh, Hallelujah. In which that, that individual, that one who comes to Christ, that they must work on. You must know that sanctification has a lot to do with you. Working in hand with God, the Holy Spirit, and the Word of God. Understand in this hour, the church has lost their joy. They have lost their place of sanctification. There are many who have strayed away. There are many who have moved away from God's ordinance. Where we have my God removed from the ordinance of God. We give it to our desires. We give it to the weak elements. That takes the one on his ground. But tell your neighbor tonight, you can walk in sanctification. You better talk to your neighbor tonight. You look like you're the only one to dance it. You will walk in sanctification. Because the word of God is here to sanctify you. Unto his truth. You're going to give God some place up in that house. It's a work of you. You have to know how to work it. You know, we got to know how to spend time in the secret place of God. I'm reminded when the Lord told Joshua to tell my his people, he said, I want to do something great amongst the house of Israel, but I want you to allow them to tell them, sanctify themselves. For tomorrow I'm going to do goodness and wonders among them. Huh? See, in order for us to experience the wonders of God, huh, we got to position ourselves. Huh? we got to get beyond people, huh? get beyond the leaders, huh? and prepare ourselves to walk in sanctification. Huh? It's going to take full denial, huh? full surrendering, huh? full surrendering, I say, huh? someone give God some praise for the now. You must surrender. Sanctification is going to take this. Huh? You must understand that the word declare, huh? as we prepare ourselves to be sanctified, walk in sanctification, huh? it's the process huh? of which we set ourselves apart huh? for the work of God, huh? being not conformed to this world, huh? but being transformed, huh? hallelujah, by the renewal of our mind, huh? transforming the image of Christ. Huh? How do you and I become transformed in the image of Christ? Huh? We transform in the image of Christ is when we spend more time huh? in the word of God, huh? being obedient to the voice of God, huh? so following my God our own way, huh? and seeking to follow things what is not of God. Huh? Help us, oh God, tonight. Huh? God said he wanted his house, huh? and the people of God in our lives, huh? to walk in sanctification. Huh? All justification is all good, huh? but we got to walk sanctified. Huh? Someone give God some bricks up in the house. Let us look further down. Huh? He said, daughter, sanctification is a must. Because the image of me must manifest out of my church. Huh? Many of us, my God, we look from day to day, we see Christians huh? and say that they're saved. Huh? I don't care what you come with. You can say you're born again, spit no tongues. Huh? You can be on fire, baby, but unless you walk the way huh? of the cross, unless you present your bodies huh? as a living sacrifice, huh? unless you prepare yourself to be holy unto God, huh? you won't even reach that mark yet. Huh? Tell your neighbor you got to be sanctified. The purpose of sanctification is it's so God can use you. The purpose of sanctification is that you and I may be set aside, huh? be prepared to be used huh? for the Lord's use. Huh? Not for man, not for your mother, not for your daddy, not for money, hallelujah. And yeah, I gotta come this way with many leaders, huh? Cause they think they're called to preach to get money, huh? Not for none of those things, huh? But for the master's use. Someone said the master's use. Okay? And so, okay, it be a call and to be sanctified huh? for God's use. Huh? That means in, in every area of our lives, huh? he is seeking to get glory out of our lives. Huh? So whatever we got to do, huh? whatever you got to put aside huh? and lay aside, baby, you got to do it. Because huh? God want holy vessel. Huh? Then your neighbor sanctification huh? is a pathway huh? to holy living. Hallelujah. Someone give God some praise in the house. That we have been justified. I 
that you're a part of Jesus Christ. Uh, he wants us to walk in sanctification, and his character will be burned out of us. Mm -hmm. Philippians 2 and 13 tells us that not only that he wants his character to be manifest, in which that we know that is not his likeness and not his image, but his glory must be revealed on his own. Uh, you must understand this is uh, a glorified state in which God wants all of us to walk in. Sanctification is a glorified state. That's a state in which that we can't be playing. Uh, we can't see and take the flesh. We got to be all up in the spirit. Uh, someone say, up in the spirit and the spirit only. Uh, some bad person say, you too deep. You need to be deep. No, because God want to use you. Uh, you need to, my God, get to a level uh, where your life will please God. Uh, someone give God some shot of in the house. Even as we prepare ourselves as the church and as the people of God, you came from there and far. But pay yourself to live a life that God takes glory out of. Some things you gotta cut off, cut it off. Some things, some walk you gotta pro stop practicing, you gotta prepare to walk it. Why it is all such a struggle and such a hard thing for many children of God and child of God? That meant God say sanctification, He wants you to walk in the holy living. We always tend to my God turn my nose to me. And we start to say, oh, well, I know I, I'm, I, I'm not what I used to be. And I, I'm not strong, God, you know me. Huh? Listen, if he didn't know who you were, you think he would have told you to walk in sanctification? If he didn't know that there was some capability of you walking and living holy, you don't think he would have saved my God such and such a thing? Tell your neighbor you can live sanctified unto God. Okay, let me look further now. A justified person must submit to God and his will and resist the devil. Huh? Okay, so we have been justified uh, by his grace. Uh, hallelujah, his righteousness is over our lives. Uh, we submitted to God, not the devil. That means when my flesh starts to tingle, your young ones. Uh, yes, I can chop it like this. Uh, see, some people didn't like this sort of word. Uh, but this is the word that leads to glorified church. Uh, this is the word that will cause God's people to uh, walk in newness. Uh, yes, when your flesh starts tingling. Uh, when you start desiring the opposite flesh. Uh, hallelujah, glory. God, huh? You better know how to hold on Jesus. Huh? You need to know my cause. Huh? You must stand firm in the things of God. Huh? Hallelujah, Jesus declare. Huh? Hallelujah, resist the devil. Huh? And he will flee. Huh? Somebody need to learn how to resist Satan. Huh? Oh, glory to God. Somebody give God some praise up in the house. Resist them not in only areas with our flesh. But sometimes the devil come to get on your last nerve. Sometimes he come to overthrow you. He come to tell you that you can't live holy. Some of you are just even want to hear it. Huh? But God got this word tonight. Huh? Cause he said sanctification huh? is a mess. Huh? What is the next level of glory? Huh? I don't know what for you in this house. Huh? But I don't forget the whole man. Huh? We're going to higher level. Huh? We're going to greater glory. Huh? My God, for the honor, I want to make you to know that in Galatians 5 and 22, verse 23 tells us that we can walk and live holy. Seeking holiness, seeking to work for God, it might be hard, but you can make it. Seeking for more Christ, I don't know what you I go Going on the days of just singing a song, I want to live the life. Going on the days I just say, Oh, come upon me or fall upon me. Listen, I want to fall upon me indeed. I ask them something when I show up. I'm sure of it. Like someone says, show is a heart attack. I want to make sure that he now is glory to manifest over me. So tell your neighbor, don't sing it if you don't see us about it. Don't say it if you don't see us about it. Because God's going to do it. Someone give God some praise of the house. And I look further down. Justification comes from the outside of us, which is from God. Okay? Be reminded of that. Okay? And sanctification comes from God within us. Okay? By the work of the Holy Spirit and according to the Word of God, the Word of God that we study daily. We are renewed in the spirit of our mind. We spend more time in His presence, listening to the Holy Ghost and not listening to another. Watch Him, my God, transform you and lift you up to live a sanctified life. Uh, when the enemy comes in like a flood, uh, because you spend time in His presence, uh, because you find it, my God, important uh, for you to seek more God and less of everything else. Uh, you find it more important for you to be in the presence uh, that, my God, not to be 
consume on Facebook, or huh? to consume with friends on the phone, huh? so much say sanctification, huh? it's right and it's work, baby, huh? this thing is what God is calling the church to do, huh? and I hear the Lord God say, many desire to walk in him, but they have not really healed themselves to be vessels indeed unto me, said the Lord, sanctification, they run from it, because they feel that they can go through any other doorway than walking holy unto me. But the word declared that he said, huh, he is a my God, a holy God. Huh? And he said, anyone even that serve him or worship him, huh, must worship him in spirit and truth. Huh? And we remind him, hallelujah, huh, that the word declared that holiness of which no man can see the Lord. Huh? And so we want to see him. Huh? We want to see him manifest among us. Huh? Maybe he comes to the doorways huh, of holiness. So hear the word of God tonight. Let's not get caught up in church as usual. Let's get caught up in the word. And the word will drive you more and more huh, into his will. Someone give God praise. First Thessalonians 4 and 7, God said, Hallelujah. God said, called. He made the call to us. He said, Hallelujah, called us. Hallelujah for a purpose. He called us to purpose. And he called us not to impurity, but to sanctification. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 4 and 7. God has called us. Hallelujah for one purpose, not for impurity, but for sanctification. Colossians 1 and 5 to 11 says, the word of God says that we must live holy lives and avoid sin. Someone say avoid sin. Avoid sin. If you won't go to me, of course, I know what it is. I know what it is to be young like you all. I know what it is to be wrestling with the words of the flesh. I, I know what it is. I've been there, done that. But you can't live holy. Because if he can't be, he can keep you. So some are telling them they can get it right. Call that holiness. Hallelujah. But it's next to mention, huh? He will bring your promise to pass if you learn to live right. Huh? He will bring your promise into peace if you learn to my God. Huh? Live that sacred life before him. Huh? Yes, you can. Huh? Tonight. This word is very powerful to body Christ in this hour. I am justified, but called to be sanctified. Glory to the name of Jesus. When one see you down the road walking, don't just want to say, oh, she's a Christian, or she looks like a Christian. She have long marks on her hair, she have hair come up. Listen, you want to experience this, and that person will sense the glory of a sanctified vessel. When you walk, your vessel is so sanctified. When you pass a drug on it, huh? or you know they turn around. Huh? When you pass a prostitute, huh? they turn around. Huh? Because your body huh? is glorified huh? for the master's use. Glorified body. And which that he's desired for us to walk in, in his hour. Yes, sir. Because his glory must be seen out of you and I. Hallelujah. Within the word of God, the Lord told many to follow. To follow him. Being justified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through his power. And sanctified. Hallelujah. By my God. His very grace and his power manifesting out of us. When I look at sanctified vessels, I look at Job. Hallelujah. He himself went through much hardship. But he still found a time that he knew. That in the midst of all his down and out, he knew that God only received a vessel that is sanctified. And he reminded my God that no matter how he lost so many things, he knew that he had to possess himself as a sanctified vessel for God to afford a blessing. For your next dimension of blessings, you want God to do some stuff. But if your body and your life not meet the requirement, some things will hold up from you. Some of them give God some praise. I seek to please God. And when you please God, he pleases you. Someone give God some praise up in the house. We want some stuff. God, I want you to do this to me. I want you to bless me. Oh, I know it's coming my way. But God says, spend more time in my presence. He says, spend more time fasting. We more more complaining, huh? And say, man, you know I have a little ulcer. You know my back hurting. Huh? The devil is a liar. Find some time for God, huh? Someone needs to know that tonight, huh? This is a word that is rest on, huh? Rock or shaman. Uh, the word of God says, uh, wherefore come out from among them. Uh, 
Yeah. 